these are the Rayneo Air 2S Smart AR glasses. And you know what I did the first time I put them on? I just smile. It's like joining the Matrix or the Cool Kids Club. For the last 10 years, I don't know if you noticed, but screen sizes have been increasing. For example, monitors now the standard size increased from about 24 inches to 27 inches. Phone screen sizes went from a display size that looks something like this to currently something that's even bigger than what you are seeing right here. We now have even folds, but you cannot increase so much before it's no longer practical practical and that's where these devices come in. These are the Rayneo Air 2S smart glasses by TCL. They are a pair of glasses that you can use to watch movies, multitask or extend your max display or run high refresh rate games since these can run up to 120 hertz refresh rate. The unboxing experience is a premium one. One side of the box tells you the key features of the Rayneo Air 2S, while the other side has three common user scenarios. And when you slide off the outer box, it reveals this colorful one that you lift up slowly, just like an iPhone unboxing experience. And here, it has another smaller box that actually carries the accessories and they are listed on top of the box. And you can see one of the first accessories you get is a USB-C to USB-C data cable. One one end is at an angle and it's the end that actually connects to your glasses and you get an extra nose pad. This one is the larger one in case you need to exchange for a larger one and you get glass lens demo if you need prescription frames made and you can use this as a sample, which is good. You also get a multi-language user manual to help you get set up and familiarize yourself with the Rayneo Air 2S. And this is the hard case bag that the Rayneo Air 2S glasses are actually in. It's portable and one of the first things that you have is a cloth that you can use to clean your glasses. Now the glasses look like this before you take off the film that is on the outer case that protects them and once you remove it you can see how that looks and you can see on one end of the glasses it has the USB-C port where the USB-C data cable connects. Inside you have two protectors for the two screens that it has and the nose pad can be removed and this one comes with the medium size. Since I use a lot of Apple devices here on the channel, the Rayneo Air 2S is actually compatible with most of the recent iPhones like the 15s, the 16s, the USB-C iPads and Mac as well. So the other end of the Rayneo Air 2S cable simply connects in a compatible device like my iPhone 15 Pro that has USB-C and if I click on it right there you can see the accessory popped up and also by going into the settings under the display and brightness settings you can see it automatically recognize the smart glasses and if I go into this section I have the ability to be able to change different settings right there. The first thing you see when you look into the glasses is the default display mode which is projection mode. In this mode the contents of a mobile, a phone, a gaming console or or other compatible devices can be mirrored to the glasses as if they are presented on a giant screen and when I say giant, I mean like really huge screen because the image size that these glasses project is equivalent to that of a 201 inches when viewed from six meters away. To create this huge screen effect, there are actually two tiny 0.55 inch Sony Micro OLED displays in here, one for each eye of course, and the resolution that these support is 1080p, but because these displays are so small and tiny. The pixel density that they have is so much that for 1080p it looks really good and really sharp. The screen's highest light display is at 1500 nits and the light level to the eye is at 600 nits and because you wear these glasses on your face like this they are close and at the same time the front has this sunglass shade type of look which is really cool and that also enhances the screen's brightness effect. So for me with the typical lighting setup that I have I usually use these at about 20 to 25 percent and that's plenty bright for me. Another the cool thing about these glasses is that they support a refresh rate of up to 120 hertz so if you are playing high refresh rate games on your console macbook or iphone you can take advantage of this and play games that are fluid and take advantage of this added high refresh rate personally for me when i put these on i think they look pretty cool with this sunglass type of look and they add on the drip of course 
and they're actually not too heavy since they come in at 78 grams. The arms are hinged to allow you the ability to be able to change the angle and at the same time if you have like a bigger head you can always extend them and this like end of the glasses is flexible so you can always adjust them to how you need also you can adjust the angle so it has three levels of adjustments just listen to the sound it makes when i go on the medium level medium and now if i go lower that's how it is and i can also adjust this one too to three levels as well to be able to give me the perfect view when i put them on so that i'm able to see as straight as possible another way i like to use the rainio air 2s is using them with my macbook so because my mac is just a 14 inch macbook pro usually when i'm sitting at the table you know the ergonomic hinge that it has i have to always you know be looking down and bending my head or neck like this which isn't good for long periods of use but the moment you connect this to your mac that all changes let me actually show you that they are connected on the USB-C end of the glasses and this cable connects to my max USB-C if I go into my max display settings you can see these show up as smart glasses and I can change the resolution if I want to make the UI looks bigger I can always go and change it right here and at the same time if I go to the arrange section I can always come to the smart glasses and put them on top of the Mac and you can see this is my max built-in display and now these are the Rainio Air 2S smart AR glasses and now when I put them on there's another screen on top of my 14 inch MacBook Pro that's above that's I'm looking at straight and it's a big screen right there 201 inches so now if I'm like at a coffee shop or I'm at Tim Hortons or something and I'm typing an email or editing and I don't want others to see what I'm doing I can use this function mode and I can have this virtual invisible screen that only I can see the cool thing I like about this is because the screens in here are so small that they don't cover the whole glass portion so if I want to use or look through the bottom piece of the glasses I can see what's on my actual screen on my MacBook Pro or if I want to see what I'm typing on my keyboard I can easily see that without going too far and at the same time if I want I can reduce the brightness of my MacBook Pro to save battery or for better privacy and just use the keyboard only and I have this big screen that's just following me that i can use that people can't see this device is very easy to use it only has a total of three buttons and it's plug and play so on this side you can see this is the brightness that you can change using this button right here it gives you about 10 levels of brightness control that you can change and you can press and hold and these buttons are clicky just listen to the sound they make and if you press and hold it increases gradually to the maximum if you press and hold it reduces the brightness all the way to the bottom and on this side right here we have the other two buttons here you have the volume up and the volume down button if you press and hold the volume plus button it turns off whisper mode and if you press and hold the volume minus button it turns on whisper mode the other button that we have right here is the menu button and you can press this button to quickly access the menu in which you can set the whisper mode the refresh rate and if you want to change image settings then you also do that from this button for audio or speakers the Rainio Air 2S is the first and currently the only XR glasses in the world with four speakers so you can see the first two right here on top and then if you go underneath you can see the other two and to give you a more direct feeling of the sound effect of the Rainio Air 2S listen to this If you are in public and want to protect your privacy, there is a built-in whisper mode which is mainly used to prevent sound leakage and protect privacy. When this mode is enabled, no one else from 25 centimeters away can hear the sound of the glasses. So whether you are on a train, on a bus, or even on a plane above, you can be rest assured of your listening privacy and no sound leakage with the Rainio Air 2S using the whisper mode. The audio can be loud if you turn the volume all the way to the maximum because our 
was able to use this in the barber shop waiting for my haircut and it was plenty loud i have airpods right here for a reason so let me show you a cool thing that i haven't seen anyone mention if you press and hold on the now playing screen and go to this screen right here you can see here you have the ability to choose where your audio comes from so if you want it to come from the ray neo air 2s you select the dock connection right here and it will the audio will play from the glasses but if you want your audio to play from your airpods airpods pro or airpods max then you select this option here and now if i go and play my audio now the audio is coming from the iphone if you are using the mirror display to mirror your iphone to the uh, ar glasses then the brightness control actually has no impact on the display that you see on the glasses so i can put my screen as low as possible and then i can change my brightness right here to as high as possible or as little as possible so you do save battery in the long run because of this setting that they have implemented which i kind of like in terms of practicality one of my favorite thing that i like to do with the ray neo a 2s glasses is actually consume content so i can be laying down in bed and watching apple tv on this glasses or watching a youtube documentary or series it's pretty good and it looks pretty huge when you look at the ceiling and the way it's projected so like to use the Rainio Air 2S to be able to improve my sitting posture and my ergonomics when I'm editing videos for long periods of time because instead of looking down I can now look straight without worrying or looking around too much and at the same time another thing that I like to use these glasses for is privacy when consuming content on the go or when you're waiting for the barber shop in the bus or train it's pretty good that you now don't need a big tablet or ipad that you can carry with you you can do that all on your rainio air 2s glasses you can also use the rainio air 2s glasses as a big giant screen for the joy dock accessory that allows you to play games on the go and the rainio air 2s also supports the pocket tv accessory which is sold separately of course and this is a streaming box that basically fits in your pocket and offers access to apps such as Disney Plus, Prime Video, Apple TV Plus, Netflix, and so on. If you have a smart TV that uses the Google TV OS as the home interface system, then this is exactly what you are going to be seeing. It's pretty easy to sign into your various applications and continuity carries on. These glasses also support an XR mode, which is a fresh new 3D space system experience. And by downloading an application that is called the ray neo xr on your iphone or your other associated devices you can find it on the app store and open it and what this would do is it will allow you to view spatial videos which is an immersive almost 3d like experience that you can do and i shot quite a few of those videos and when you watch them using the ray neo air 2s glasses it's like it's 3d it comes to life and in order for you of course to shoot spatial video you go to your camera and you select spatial you can take spatial photos and you can also go to the video and shoot spatial videos and when you pair it with the ray neo xr application it will automatically go through your gallery once you give it permission and it will show you the supported content and using these glasses you can easily consume the 3d content honestly this is an experience that's hard to explain on video it's one that you know you can experience for yourself by trying this out or trying something similar because this special video feature is actually pretty sick and yes your iphone 15 pro and i believe the iphone 16 pro series also shoot special video and yeah it's pretty cool to turn on 3d mode on the rainio air 2s glasses you press these two buttons at the same time and to turn it off you just do the same and it will turn off the 3d mode you can also download the mirror studio software for windows pcs that have display output over usb-c to enjoy multi-window experience with improved productivity and entertainment using the other display mode that this supports for xbox and playstation users you can get an hdmi to usb-c adapter and be able to use the ray neo glasses as an extended display for 
for a more immersive experience as compared to your traditional TV with your gaming consoles as well. Now keep in mind that these glasses have no built-in battery so they do draw power from whatever device they are connected to and because they have such a wide various support system so a lot of USB-C iPhones, a lot of other Android devices, Macs, Windows PC, you have the Pocket TV and other devices as well as consoles. It's a pretty well supported device and the ecosystem and demand as well as the market seems to be there. And this is actually my first AR experience with these glasses, the Rainio A2S. And I think it's a pretty good start for me. I'll be using this more often. And if you want to consume content on the go, if you want to work in privacy on your Mac or other devices or watch basic content on your iPhone, but on a bigger 201 screen, these are a pretty good device that you can use to better enhance your user experience. And I'll continue to use them here on the channel. I'll leave links to the Rainio A2S glasses in the description of this video. And shout out to Rainio for allowing me and giving me the experience to be able to review this. If you like the video, leave a like and subscribe and let me know which other products or cool tech products like this you want to see and I'll cover them here. My name is Ben and I'm signing off. Peace.